Hi boys and girls, it's Mrs. Warren and I'm here to teach you the grammar skill of the week. This week we're going to learn about quotations. And quotations are two little marks that go on both sides of a sentence to show the exact words a person says. So if you look at my first little bit right here, this is what quotations look like. They look like little, little itty bitty C's going forwards and itty bitty C's going backwards. And we use those marks to, to put the words that somebody says to make it stand out. So we know that's a quote. It's exact words that somebody says. <clears throat> Excuse me. So we're going to learn four rules that have to deal with quotation marks. The first one is you're going to put the quotation marks at the beginning and at the end of the exact words someone says. So let's look at a sentence. The first sentence says Governor Cooper said schools will remain closed for the rest of the year. So to apply that first rule, we're going to put the quotation marks around the exact words Governor Cooper said. So here is one set of quotation marks and here is the second because we put them around the words he said schools will remain closed for the rest of the year and distance learning will continue. There was probably a little bit more he said. So again, quotation marks around someone's exact words. Let's look at our next slide. Next, second rule. You have to use a comma to separate the speaker's exact words from the rest of the sentence. So I like to think of it as like a karate chop. You're separating um, the speaker's exact words from the rest of the sentence. It just, boom, divides it in two. My favorite rule is this one. The third rule is you need to capitalize the first word inside the quotation marks because that indicates that's the beginning of the sentence that the speaker has said. And then I do like rule four too. <clears throat> Excuse me. Put a punctuation or an end mark inside the quotation marks. So let's look at this sentence to model rules two, three, and four. The student yelled, comma, which you don't really say comma, but you can see the comma. The student yelled, no, we want to go to school. So here we put our comma after the word yelled because it separates the exact words the speaker said from the rest of the sentence. <clears throat> then we put a capital for the beginning of what the person said for no, no, we want to go to school. We have a punctuation mark at the end. Here the punctuation mark is an exclamation point and it goes inside of the quotation marks. So again, comma, quotation mark, capital, punctuation mark, quotation mark. That's a lot to remember. So we're gonna do a lot of practice together. Let's keep going. All right, so to help you out, I put a little cheat sheet up here in the corner. <clears throat> Excuse me, of course, the minute I start videotaping, I can't stop clearing my throat. So bear with me. <clears throat> sorry, 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 sorry. Here we go, let's do it. Cheat sheet. We need to have quotation marks, a comma, a capital, and some punctuation. So here's a very bad sentence because it doesn't have any of those. My mom said, eat your vegetables. So my mom really needs a comma, a capital, quotation marks, and some punctuation. Let's see how a correct version of that sentence should look. There we go. Mom said, comma, eat your vegetables. Again, an exclamation point, because sometimes moms have to yell that. And then the quotation marks are around the exact words mom said. Let's look at another one. Jack asked, what's for dinner? So Jack needs a comma, quotation marks, punctuation, and a capital. That remember that comma usually comes after the, the asking word or the said word, but it also is the dividing mark in the exact word somebody says and the rest of the sentence. So it should look like this. Jack asked, comma, what's for dinner? His capital is at the beginning of what he said. He has his quotation marks and the question mark following um, the end of his sentence. Another example, Wynn said soccer is the best sport. 
All right, when we need to get you a comma, a capital, quotation marks, and some punctuation, hun, let's see where it goes. Here we, this looks much better. Wynn said, comma, soccer is the best sport. Her soccer has a capital S at the beginning of what she was saying. She has her quotation marks, and inside her quotation marks are, she put punctuation. There's her exclamation point. Now, Dylan said, Baseball is this best sport. All right, Dylan, you too need a comma, quotation marks, capital, and some punctuation. So your sentence should look like this. Dylan said, comma, here's our quotation marks, our capital B, our punctuation, and our ending quotation marks. And he also used an exclamation point because he is trying to exclaim, saying, baseball's the best. Let's look at a few more examples. Marielle asked, when do published books come in? Again, what am I going to say? We need these four things. Here we go. Marielle asked, comma, when do published books come in? She, as, she has her quotation marks, her capital, her ending punctuation, which is a question mark here because she's asking a question and she has her comma. Another example. Abigail answered, the books will arrive in May. Now, Abigail also, we need your comma, your quotation marks, a capital and some punctuation. Let's look at the correct version of this sentence. Abigail answered, now here's her comma that will separate her exact words from the rest of the sentence. She has a capital T for the and quotation marks around her exact words and she put a period. We can't wait for those published books to come in, right guys? All right, here we go. Now I'm gonna set you free. In your journey's workbook, I want you to complete pages 145 and 146 independently, well, by yourself. If you need to go back and watch my video and see some of the examples, go right ahead. But I think you're gonna do great on these two pages for your first grammar assignment on quotation marks. Mrs. Warren said, keep up the good work, exclamation point. Have a great day.